Welcome to another edition of Cabinet Vision's Tech Tuesday webinar, brought to you by Planet Solutions Technical Support and Training Departments. Welcome to the What's New with Solid Version 5 in regards to the layout portion of the program. Today we'll be looking at the name and the number of the selected cabinet showing up in the sidebar, the Alt double click function in the elevation view, the fact that molding countertops and decorative objects are ignored when you're laying out a room, and the delete all function on countertops and moldings. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up this existing job file here. I've got eight cabinets on a wall. Go into the elevation view. Right click the cabinet and go to properties and over on the left you'll see the cabinet's description and the number show up right above the clearance values. Don't have to go hunting for that cabinet number anymore. Now in the elevation view you have the option of double clicking on a cabinet to section it in the elevation view or double clicking on it to go to the cabinet level. That setting is set at the front portion of the program. Now you have the ability to hold the ALT ALT key on your keyboard and double click on the cabinet in order to do the inverse of the selected function at the system level. Now I'll get rid of these two cabinets over here show you the other new layout function come place a tall cabinet at the edge of this wall when I click on the cabinet you notice that the clearance value over on the left is 43 inches well that's not 43 inches to the countertop or the molding that's 43 inches all the way over to the nearest cabinet now solid 50 ignores the existing countertops and moldings so if I change that clearance value to zero snaps that tall cabinet up next to the other cabinets. You zoom in here and you can tell that the molding and the countertops are still going through the, uh, the tall cabinet. And I'll go back to the plan view now and I'm going to right click on a countertop. I could delete the single top if I wanted to but now I can do a delete all to remove all countertops in the room go to the elevation no countertops go back to the plan view and you can do the same for the molding click the molding button right click an existing molding and here's the delete all function click delete all all the moldings are gone now to the elevation view and the proof is in the pudding back into the plan view and I'll save the job file, and that concludes the what's new for the layout portion of Solid 5.0. For additional resources, please check into the help files. These new features are covered within the help files. We also have an outstanding eSupport website. On the website, we have a forum which is monitored by the Planet Technical Support team. On the forum, you will find a large amount of information covering these new features. The next option is training. Planet offers several different options here. Options such as regional classes, on-site training, in-house training, and online training can be a valuable investment for your business. Please contact your customer service representative for more information on these training options. Thank you for watching. For more information on how Cabinet Vision can help you become more efficient and profitable, visit www.cabinetvision.com.